McDonald. I'm 53 years old. I was 49 when I had my stroke, which happened on the 5th of September 2009. My name is Sylvia Sherry Golding. I'm 49 years old. And seven years ago, I had an aortic dissection. That led to me having a stroke which has left me with a left-hand side weakness. My leg trails and my left hand doesn't work as well as what it should. My name's Debbie and I'm 47 and my MS was diagnosed about eight years ago, but I've had it for probably 12 years. But foot drop only sort of started about three, four years ago. I have the traditional drop foot problem where my foot will invert, my toe drops and I'm liable to fall easily. A drop foot is the inability of being able to lift the foot up as the leg swings when you take a step and this is the result of damage to the central nervous system as a result of diseases such as stroke, multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, hereditary spastic paraplegia or incomplete spinal cord injury. When we normally walk, our foot automatically picks up. But if a person can't do that, then the foot will catch on the ground and can cause the person to fall over. It was really no fun to walk. I found that I got really down, really depressed about it. Didn't look forward to going out for walks anymore because it was hard work and, and it starts to make you feel disabled. A lot of the current standard treatments of drop foot are purely mechanical devices, such as splints. These hold the foot in a set position to stop it catching on the ground, but they don't use the person's own muscles in order to create the movement. Oddstock Medical was established in 2006 as an NHS-owned spin-off company by Salisbury NHS Foundation Trust. It was established in order to move forward the FES work that had been carried out at Salisbury District Hospital over the previous 20 years. Here at the National Clinical FES Centre we treat a variety of neurological conditions for whom FES may be appropriate. FES is an adjunct to therapy alongside physiotherapy and other kinds of rehab. It shouldn't be considered as a replacement to other kinds of therapy but can be used in addition to enhance a patient's recovery. Functional electrical stimulation is a technique in which we apply small electrical impulses to the patient's nerves in order to get their muscles to contract and to restore the missing function. Normally when we walk the brain sends a signal down the spinal cord and down the leg from the lumbar spine and it results in coming down to the common perineal nerve which runs just underneath the head of the fibula. At this point the nerve splits into two and branches one branch goes to the muscles down the side of the leg which lift the foot outwards and the other branch goes to the muscle down the front of the shin called the anterior tibialis which lifts the foot up and inwards and so by accurately positioning the electrodes over the nerves we can get a good positive lifting up of the foot. Stimulation is applied using self-adhesive electrodes that are placed on the outside of the leg. This causes the muscles to contract and the foot to lift. Stimulation is then controlled using a foot switch, which is placed in the shoe. The research we've carried out in Salisbury over the last 20 years has demonstrated that FES for drop foot makes some significant difference to people's lives. In our research, we have demonstrated significant improvements in walking speed of around 30%, a reduction in physiological cost index, which is a, a measure of the effort of walking, also by about 30%. In two separate studies, we've seen around a 72% reduction in the number of falls that people have experienced while using stimulation. We have demonstrated improvements in quality of life using standardized measures and we've seen improvements in people's participation in activities of daily living. My name is David Ducker and about 13 years ago I had an overdose of radiotherapy which uh, hit my spine and gave me almost paralysis on my left side. One of my great enjoyments always was playing golf. 
since having the ODFS, I am now able to move a lot more quickly. I can negotiate all sorts of embankments, even playing out of the bunkers and out of the rough. And whilst I knew the buggy all the time to play golf, I now can play golf. Life without the box would 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 very much uh, be different to uh, to where we are now. It's very much a question of the whole family benefiting from freedom, and and uh, I mean that is the key word throughout. Because without that, I can't see that our family life as it is now could exist in the same way at all. She came back and she showed us what it was like. Uh, she walked along our hall and she walked away from me and I thought, I cannot believe this. She's actually walking normally. She just walked like she always had done and I was quite amazed and I couldn't believe that this little box with a couple of wires could just cause so much of a transformation. Before I had the stimulator, I would trip and fall especially outside on uneven on pavements, though my husband was always there to catch me. But with the stimulator, because it lifts my foot, I don't trip. The FES system has, has taken Sherry out of a chair and, and, and put her back on her feet, and I think that's the, the, the greatest benefit from it. it. It gave us back a life, that extra mobility, um, whether it's at a family function or whether it's simply just day-to-day -day life, mm. has, made it, um, has made life a, a lot more whole. I don't consider myself to be disabled. I try to do everything I want to do, like gardening, walking the dogs and so on, but I can only do that with the FES device. I couldn't believe how easy it was to walk because I'd forgotten what it was like to walk. My husband pushed me everywhere in a wheelchair and I went from the wheelchair to walking. We've been able to go out and play golf together again, like we used to. So it has made a big difference to me. It's taken a lot of the pressure from me. I soon got the hang of it, and it, it changed. It changed everything. It changed my walking. It changed. Cha what well, changed my life really? We go to um, a local coffee shop for coffee, and I was being pushed in a wheelchair one day, and I had my FAS on the next, and they were like, "You're walking. How have you managed that?" So people were amazed, absolutely amazed. <laughs> Obviously everybody's situation is different, their hobbies are different, their leisure part is different. But I would say that the ODFS enhances whatever your leisure hobby is. We went as a family to Windsor Castle and I was on my feet for three hours plus. But I had my FBS on and it gave me that real confidence that I could do this. And uh, it was just marvellous. I wouldn't have been able to do that before. We had to go and be assessed and stuff. It was fairly easy. We take referrals from the patient's GP or their hospital consultant and they normally write to me. I then read the referrals and if there's any doubt as to whether the person will be suitable or not, I will then phone their referring doctor and discuss the case with them. And by doing this we ensure that 90% of the people who we see are suitable for electrical stimulation. My name's Lynn Warrington. I was diagnosed with MS in the year 2000. I recently, in the last two years, have had deterioration in my left leg, which meant that I have dropped foot and I can't lift it very well, which has affected my walking considerably. I was told by a friend who has MS, of Professor Ian Swain, here at Oddstock Hospital, and I came along for an appointment in the hope that the FES might be suitable for me. So here I am today, in the hope that somebody might be able to help. When I see someone at initial assessment, I take a medical history from them, finding out what the cause of the problem was, looking at what walking aids, etc. they've used and what they've tried. And once the paperwork side is completed, I do a standard physiotherapy assessment, looking to measure the muscle strength, see if they have any spasticity, or if they have any restriction in the range of movement. If that all looks good, then we'll try an electrical stimulator and start off with just a few steps first and then try to build up the person's confidence and then let them walk independently with the stimulator. 
To fit the ODFS pace is quite a simple process once the patient has been instructed how to do it. We place two electrodes on the leg and the electrodes are then connected with a lead to the stimulator. From the stimulator there's then a second lead that goes to the foot switch which is placed in the shoe. This foot switch then turns the stimulator on at the appropriate time during walking. Once this is all set up the patient then can place the stimulator on their belt or in their pocket or down by their leg. I was really really pleasantly surprised that things were not only just slightly better, they were considerably. I've got two boys and they're very sporty and I need to take them here, there and everywhere, which means I'm going to be able to get out of the car and walk to and from where they are. I know it's going to make a massive, massive improvement to my life. If we see someone who's suitable for electrical stimulation, then we see them on two consecutive days to set up the system for them. So on the first day the person comes into the clinic and they are taught how to use the device, where to put the electrodes and how to use it to walk safely. They then come back on the second day having set it up themselves and so if they have any questions we can answer them on the second appointment. Also on that second appointment we will measure their walking performance in detail and also set some patient outcome measures so that we can see what they are trying to achieve from the stimulation and then we can review this some 18 weeks later to see if they have met their objectives. It's a very important fact that the clinical engineers at Alstom Medical working with electrical stimulation also work within the FES clinic and therefore we understand the clinical issues for the patient. In this way, we can use well-targeted interventions that really make a difference. OML currently offer three drop foot stimulator types, the ODFS PACE with wired foot switch and the recently introduced ODFS PACE XL with wireless foot switch, both of which employ surface electrodes. We also have an FES device called Stimustep, which uses implanted electrodes placed inside the leg over the nerve. The operation for the Stimustep takes about one hour and is done in day surgery. I started with a standard foot switch and then I upgraded and paid for a, a wireless foot switch because I could see the benefits of the FES and I wanted to be able to still wear the clothes that I already had and not be constrained by having to wear trousers all the time. My name is Sheila Drake and I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in January of 2006. I got to a stage where my legs needed constant support. My knees would just buckle if I tried to walk. And so my neurologist asked me if I'd ever been put forward for FES. When Sheila returned to the clinic for her second appointment, she had knee braces on both legs due to weakness in her quadriceps on both sides. And following discussion with her, we decided to trial a stimulation on both quadriceps whilst walking in combination with the drop foot stimulation as well. This actually proved to be really effective for her and as a result she's been able to progress with her walking in that she no longer requires the use of two crutches. My MS branch didn't know that I'd been fitted with fez to both quads. I walked in with the crutches and then I said, these are staying here by the wall. And that was the first time my branch had ever seen me walking without crutches. They were amazed at the difference in me and the main comment I had was, you know, you're a lot taller than I thought you were. <laughs> Due to the fact that she no longer needs to use the crutches, she's able to walk with a far better posture. It's allowed me to do things that I really love doing. Sheila also took part in a trial where she had stimulation applied to her hip flexors and to her back muscles. This actually proved to be really effective in combination with the other channels that she had and Sheila continues to use this on a daily basis. Otter Medical have been marvellous. They're so friendly, they're, they're always cheerful, they're always really concerned about how you're doing. Good morning, Otter Medical, Zoe speaking, how can I help you? They provide everything that we need. 
and if I need any equipment that's there, you know, if I've run out of pads or that, they 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 send them out to you there and then. They they're just wonderful. <laughs> Odd stock have been fabulous. I cannot fault the the service that I've had from the FES Centre. If I was not able to have the FES device, I would be in a wheelchair, without a doubt. It is impossible for me to overstate the benefits that the FES device has for my life. This is what can happen. I've been very fortunate it's worked so well for me. It really has given me back my life and I do thank my neurologist in the first instance, Somerset for funding it and Oddstock for making it happen for me.